Welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing my newest coat in my collection so i recently um just came back from portland for residency and i went shopping um because i love shopping there since it's tax free i went to the outlet mall and i purchased a new coach tote as well as this mark jacobs coat and so i'll have the link to the other video below um, but I am absolutely obsessed with this coat. If you've been following me on my channel for a bit, you know I've bought the two other uh, renditions of this bag. So um, this has come in a vertical option as well as a mini option. I don't know the exact name of this bag. I know the other two were called Grind, so I don't know why this wouldn't be called the Grind Tote as well. Um, but I walked into Marc Jacobs on the hunt for a tote saw this and absolutely fell in love with it, um, especially once I started to look inside. So this one's definitely made completely different than the other two bags. I'll have the other two unboxings below just in case you're curious or if you have those and want to do a quick comparison. But y'all, this bag is incredible. I love the leather. I love the color. I did sell the other two versions of this bag that I did have um, just because it didn't fit what I needed. I learned that I don't like a vertical tote and then I learned also that the mini just wasn't going to work but like I, I just didn't know how to dress it and so with this one I thought it was absolutely perfect so you have this um it's in the color box pattern so it's a black leather you have Marc Jacobs New York here gold hardware you have nude tan and white and black these are all four colorways that I have when it comes to shoes and accessories. So that's one reason why I just love this color block so much. The side is a nude as well. The back is a black. And then the interior of the other two earlier versions of this bag had Marc Jacobs logo inside of it. And this is all um, cloth. So it's all a solid color, which I actually really like. You have the Marc Jacobs tag here. And the winner and the reason why I purchased this bag is because it has a laptop compartment. So if it's a 13 inch, I think maybe up to a 14 inch MacBook, definitely not a 15 inch. I would have not been able to get that in here. Um, but I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro with its case in here right now. As y'all can see, it fits perfectly. Um, definitely room for like a taller lap or thicker laptop case as well. But that is, that was the deal breaker, like, or that was the reason why I got it. I just saw that. Um, I looked at the bag, obviously loved it, wanted to see what was different about it, saw that it had the laptop case and instantly picked it up to buy it because I knew this would be the perfect version of the bag. And I'm so happy to add this to my collection with a version that works. So yeah, that is a little overview of the bag. From with the front pocket, I typically just like throw my phone in so that way it's easy to get in and out. And I found this little card that came with it. I couldn't find the tag, I don't know where I put it, but it's 100% cow split leather uh, with a polyurethane coating. So there's details on the quality. I do also wanna show y'all what fits, but I primarily used this bag during residency. I just, I can love that laptop compartment. And it also just works so well with every outfit that I had because I have a belt this color, I have a white colored belt and I had like nude heels. You can just wear this. It's so versatile, which is what I loved about it. Um, but I could wear it with every outfit because it matched all my accessories, matched all my shoes and all the colorways. It looked really well with this green dress that I wore. So I just love um, the color scheme of this bag. So it was just perfect. So I think I used this three out of the four days for residency and then I used the other tote once um, and yeah, I love them both, but this one does fit, I think a little bit less than the other tote that I have. The other one doesn't have the middle compartment. The middle compartment does make you like allocate your like space. Uh, and it makes me more mindful of how you allocate your space, I think is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we have the large back pocket in here. I believe on this side, there's, yeah, there's nothing. So large back pocket, I mean, I put my card holder in there. I can put my wallet in there right now. I typically like to just secure it. And that way too, it's easier to find, especially in totes, but there's a lot of room in here. 
Um, might throw my keys in there as well. No, let's, let's just hold on for that. Um, I did fit my GM agenda in here. It does fit perfectly. So this is my Louis Vuitton GM. It is also a A5 agenda for reference. So this is, I typically like to show the GM agenda because it's the biggest planner that I have, right? Like it's bigger than the Air and Contract Hourly. It's bigger than my day designer. And so that way you'll know like a, a pretty decent sized planner fits in here, but it fits oop, vertically and horizontally, which is nice. I did it vertically so I could store other things in here. I had my Pasha accessory um, that I put on its side with all of my tech. And that's what I had like right here. It's downstairs where I would grab it. I will do a what's in my bag slash update video on this bag too um, pretty soon. I do have to go into the office soon. So I'll probably use this one day and use this the other um, another day and do some update of what's in my bags. But yeah, I just had planner tech stuff over there. And then over here was just like general stuff. So I have my Chanel small cosmetic case, sunglasses, you can put keys in here. And yeah, it fills up the bag pretty well. And the drop is really nice because you can hang it over. I think it's probably like a 10 inch drop. So I was able to wear a jacket with it, worked fine. And yeah. Other than that, oh, and here's what the iPad mini looks like in here. I think you can also fit the iPad mini here. I think the lock just makes it a little bit harder. Let's see. Yeah, so you can fit your iPad mini right there. If you wanted to, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just throw it in here with the laptop because there's enough space. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, you can definitely close it with the laptop or the iPad mini in there. Uh, let me also show you what the medium ring looks like. So you'll definitely, of course, save more space by using the medium ring as opposed to the large. But both fit, and you can bring them both if you want. It's just extra full, but as you'll see, it fits and it works great. So, yeah, I think this is a great work and school bag. Again, I've used it or will be using it. For both i definitely prefer using this one for school just because of the structure and i like the ability to organize right like i can keep things i need for class here so i had the tech pouch and my planner here and then all my personal stuff over here um it was just easier to you know know what to wear but yeah other than that that is going to be it for this video if you all have any questions please don't forget to let me know and thank you guys so much for watching